Hello. How are you doing? It's Saturday. I was going to say Sunday. You just fart. <laughs> Rundown is quite an interesting one. He's, he's picked some good up and down stories. We've got missing plane found. Cuddles, hard boiled egg, and my personal favourite, which I can't wait for either me or him to elaborate on Batman! This first story is about boiled eggs. Ooh. Well, not boiled eggs per se, but. <laughs> <laughs> What's the title of the story? Boiled eggs. But it's not about boiled eggs. Kinda. <laughs> Elaborate, elaborate. Yeah. A guy from England, I think, I think he said he was about 25. I'm going to my notes on the phone this time, not on paper. So, but um, he kind of got too kind of away taking drugs. And just for a dare, he kind of decided how many bullets there because he could fit up his bottom. <laughs> he got 15, by the way. <laughs> <Don't Yay. know. laughs> but he ended up, obviously, he ended up in hospital because he ended up with so much agony in his stomach. So obviously he went to hospital. And one by one, he pooed out 15 boiled eggs. And the doctors were like, why did you do it? And then it explained when it took blood and everything else, because he was in such pain that they chilled him all that and whatever. They found, obviously, drugs in his system. So the moral of the story is, don't play with eggs. And don't do drugs. You just swore. <laughs> Well, this one is definitely my, not yours. I've tried to do it to you before, and I know you haven't overly. You're not very affectionate to me. It makes me feel like I should leave you for a younger man. <laughs> uh, it's cuddles, and I'll elaborate now. It's a new job. You find these crazy jobs. There's a few you found now. Uh, basically, cuddles is a new job you can take, uh, and it's just where you're a cuddler. I'd assume that's the name of the position, a cuddler. And Chris has just told me it's thirty pound per cuddle. So all you need to do is get. Six cuddles in a day, and you made a decent day's wage. I'll apply for that. Wait, though, wait, actually, you've tricked me here before. Is it in England, this job? No. Oh, for fuck's sake, Chris. The KFC clothing, McDonald's gift card. Now I can't be a professional cuddler, which kind of sounds a bit wrong. Mm. If you say, like, what's your job? I'm a cuddler. Ugh. What did you call it? <laughs> it was uh, A133 or some shit like that. Yeah, right. Oh, you need, you need the talking sword. It's a thing now, visuals, it's a the thing. talking it's sword. A thing. Yeah, so this flight one he was on about. The Malaysian Airlines the, flight. Yeah, that one. It's flight MH370, I think it was. And if you can't remember what this was, this was the plane that went missing two or three years ago. Trying to look for the black box. Yes, but obviously the plane just vanished, disappeared. Just one minute was there, next minute gone. Vanished on the face of the earth. Well, there's a conspiracy theorist person out there who said he's found the plane. I will look into this because I'm quite interested. The talking sword. The talking sword. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will look into this because I don't want to set. Well, I'm going to say I don't want to set too many people's high hopes up, but <laughs> it's 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 kind of like a wrong conspiracy theory to have on a. Something of what it involves a my number majority of people involving in it. So, like I said, I'm not going to say much on it. Um, it's in what it's. I think he said it's in the Atlantic Ocean. I think he said again. My notes, but like I say I will look into it more and I will get you more information on it. But again, it's a conspiracy theory. Um, there is not cases out there. He's one of them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, no. <laughs> so yeah, well, uh, once I find out more, I will be back. No, no, no. Gotham City is burning, the Joker's run loose, Bane's around breaking backs, but where is the bat? He's nowhere to be seen because he's just been pulled over for speeding on the highway. Um, what appears to be, the guy's in full Batman suit as well, and I think it's the George Clooney Batman Forever film. But yes, Gotham is burning to dust because Batman has been pulled over by the popo, I know they don't like vigilantes, they want to stop the vigilante bat, but this is serious shit. You just pulled over the Batmobile, now people's lives are in danger, the Joker wins. But I quite like that story, thank you for giving me that one, Chris. The Batman was pulled over for speeding. Right from all of that 
<clears throat> shenanigans. Uh, yeah, Chris is he's gonna have to let me know elaborate on this theory of the I'm Malaysian gonna, airline. I'm gonna hit you. So the nutcase to summarise because I was unclear. And I'm not sure if you visuals are unclear. There's a theory been posted about it. He knows where it is. It's in the Atlantic Ocean, but he hasn't posted what the theory is yet. Yes. So fucking post it, you dickhead. And try and look into it, and I'll get back to you next week. But this week, we're going to go to sports and weather. Now, remember, our new, uh, our new weather guy died. He got run over. Chris said he'd be all right. Turns out he shattered into, to like, absolute gunk. Like, the car hit him, and he was just... So uh, I thought, all right, we'll hire a new sports anchor, and... Uh, Maybe that'll be a bit safer. And uh, we're going to go back to the dogs. We'll check out a dog. If it's got sunglasses in, if it's got a, a, an umbrella on. What do you reckon? Sunglasses or umbrella? A Sambrino. Sambrino? Ooh, what the fuck's a Sambrino? It's not a hat. Is it a hat? You mean sombrero? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just your walking dictionary sometimes. <laughs> we, we go well together. Um, yeah, so hopefully she's all right, our new sports host. Sports. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. This soda, we got to see him today. A northerner coming down south, he'll fit right in. I mean, this kid is physical, he's strong. I mean, arguably the top offensive lineman this morning in the one-on-ones. I mean, he's out there with a kid like Cameron Robinson and... What? The weather. And poor Cassandra. So that's uh, Blobman dead. Cassandra. I thought his name was Jim. Was it Jim? I was trying to remember his name, but I can't remember. Was it Jim? Um, Jim's dead. Cassandra could be gone. Uh, hopefully not, because I promised her dad. Should be safe. Shouldn't make promises. I shouldn't make promises that I cannot keep. No. Neither should you. You said you'd put it in me, Mum. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, now it's time for Chris to make us all happy and gooey. I present thee the talking sword. Is it, it? You don't have to have the talking sword. It's just a really shit joke I found funny. Really? It's, yeah. <laughs> what? What, 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 what? Nothing. That's why it's funny. I love pointless, non-funny shit. Don't do it. it it's, it's nothing to get. It's just a talking sword. You can talk. No, you, you you hold. You know how when you're in class, oh, this is going somewhere. Look good. You know when you're in class and you can only talk if you have the talking pencil or. You know, if you only have the object, it's your turn to talk. Like in an Alcoholics Anonymous thingy, because they have the little coin. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you not watch any film ever? Well, yeah, but I didn't have that in class. Yeah. Um, you basically, you're given an object, and it starts... You can to... only talk if you hold this ball. Yeah, if you hold a certain object. I don't know. Yeah. You hold a certain object. Well, you've already held it once before. I have done some weird the shit. The sword. What yeah. about the sword? I've, done, I've been <laughs> around it. my house butt naked today, because my mum was out early. I got out from bed, I was butt naked. I just went upstairs, made a coffee with the sword. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep all of the talking sword yeah, if you want. Yeah. Um, it Wise. just it passes you the power to talk. I don't need the power. To talk. <laughs> yeah, anyway, make us happy, Chris. <laughs> make us happy. I shall. Have you not heard of that? Chris is happy. Time. <laughs> so there's how warm and starry is. Not really for me, but merely for. And you have a Pokemon fans! And other Pokemon fans. You're not weirdo, so he is. <laughs> you might I'm, be, but I'm, anyhow. Pokemon. What's it called? Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu has been announced. So. Jump around like girls, I don't know. <laughs> but it's going to be it's gonna be coming out summer 2019, I think, I believe. Um, where was it announced? It was at Pokemon Worlds. Pokemon World. Um, I don't really know much about it because not really Pokemon. Even yeah, though I do like Pikachu, Pikachu yeah. I do like Pikachu, yeah. so I will give it that. So I probably will end up on seeing it because Yay. I'll get dragged more than out else. But yeah, it was just a quick one. Pokemon has been announced. It will be out. Will it be any good though? Because as we had the conversation in the car, it's going off the game, but. Certain characters won't be in it. But, also, The Rock is Pikachu. Apparently. Apparently. So it's, instead of Pika Pika, it's Pika Pika. Get a smell. Oh, look out though. <laughs> so yeah. Adons. Happy. Ending. Killed Magikarp a million times. 
Monkey see, monkey see. Oh, you see, you've started. Um, oh my God. Hi. You've caught me off guard. Oh, yeah. This is Dan's uh, happy ending. Basically, a happy ending is when you go on a date and at the end of the night, you get a hand job. But in this case, it's not a hand job. I, I thought it was the speed train. No, it wasn't. The speed wasn't. train? <laughs> What's the speed train? The yes. bullet train? No. The speed train? A sexual thing? No. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> what, what, what are you on about a train? I'm sure it's a train. What's a train? The happy ending? No! But didn't we have a conversation last week with a train and you're eating crisps? Yeah. Yeah, the girl eating the crisps off the floor on the train was my drunk person last week. Yeah, well, what, what was that scenario called? I thought that was... That was a drunk train. And you had a train in it. <laughs> That's, what's the relevance to this one? <laughs> Um, yes, Chris has just started to melt down. Luckily, the video is winding down. But this time around, uh, there was a guy steaming to fuck. He says, I'll fight anybody. I say, I'll even fight a monkey. I said, mate, there's a monkey on your bike. And uh, this is what happened. Oh. Oh, God. Hey. Back to being a Twitcher. Obviously, you'll miss that bit before Chris clicks. It's very. Give us a demonstration. No, it's not. He's very. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the monkey quite clearly fucked the guy. What would you do if there was a monkey on your bike, your motorcycle? <laughs> you go. There's a monkey on your bike, Chris. Bye. Have a minor stroke. You just say bye to it. Burn a mess with a monkey. Ah, the vicious little yeah, this one did fuck the guy up, and he had a ponytail as well. Everyone with a ponytail's hard. I'm not a ponytail. That's why I don't think you are. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what? You know, you <laughs> something... Chris, I, I, uh, my name's Chris, I'm hard. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah not Chris, Trevor, you hard. <laughs> Visuals, that was this week's edition of the news. Thank you for the love of sport lately, and don't go fuck around with monkeys. Um, visuals, keep being oh, you, keep on keeping on. You want, but you're gonna get hurt. Mm -hmm. That's the moral of the story. Don't fuck with monkeys. And today, the big news come here. Give me you, keep on. Bigger, bigger. <laughs> Bye then. All oh, right, you, uh, is it running GI ball? A running joke. Do we stand here awkwardly? Do you press stop? Yes. Okay. Oh, 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 shit.